Okay, I just got some pumpable pumps in the mail. And it's gonna be a couple weeks before I can get a full review with all the details and stuff out to you on YouTube. So I'll give you a little preview here on Instagram, which is always fun. So first we're gonna do the bigger one, which is the Super Genie, this one. And then I will do another one on the Genie Advanced, I think is what it's called, the littler one. So, first of all, opening these pumps, I can already tell that I'm going to love these. These are just awesome. Check out this little overlay that it came with. It tells you what all the buttons are, gives you like a quick rundown of what you're looking for. There's even a little thing on the top that says, need help, get in touch, and it has an email address. That is awesome. This pump is a little bit heavier than I was expecting, but it's actually quite small. I really like the size. It also has a handle if you want it, or you can put it down if you don't. Cute little nightlight on there too. Super cool. Um, it just, it feels like a high quality pump. I also really liked the charger because it came with multiple adapters. So it came with the US one was attached. It also has a UK one. We've been to London, that's the one we used. I snagged this EU one because that's what I'm currently using and I have no clue what this one is. So if you know what this adapter is, will you please comment below and tell me. I would like to visit your country and try out this pump. Anyway, cool. Um, obviously dual voltage because it has all of those adapters. So let's talk about this pump a little bit. I was reading through some of the specs on it. Super cool. The vacuum range is 15 to 330 mmHg, which is cool because not only is the max section really high, um, higher than almost all the pumps that I've tested so far, I will test this out on my little booby barometer machine um, for the review on YouTube and let you know if I was able to get that. It also has a really low number. So 15 is really, really gentle. So I'm, I'm gonna try that out and see what it's like. I'm not gonna try the max suction. That is way too much suction for me. But I love it when pumps have a huge range. Some of the uh, really popular pumps, like for instance, the Baby Buddha, I like that pump, but the minimum suction on it is very high. And so if you're sensitive at all or you need a lower suction, that's not awesome. This one had a huge range, so that's really cool. It also had multiple cycle speeds on the letdown mode, which I will show you. I do not see that very often on pumps. I usually see it has a letdown or stimulation mode, sometimes we call it. And it's usually, what is it on the Spectra? 70, 90 maybe on some of the Medela ones. And it's just like you hit it and it and you go. This one has, you can change it from 72 to 104, which I thought was really cool. Um, the expression mode cycle speeds were 40 to 70, really standard. Um, 1.12 kilograms is the weight of this pump, 2.6 pounds. So like I said, this is not the lightest pump I have seen. And I'll, I'll get some numbers and compare that in the YouTube video to some other pumps. It's not terrible. I mean, it's fine. This is cool. Battery life, it says 2.8 hours, which is awesome. So you could get, you could probably get six pumping sessions in on that if you're pumping, you know, under half an hour, just under half an hour. Um, if you're doing closer to 15, 20 minutes like I do, I could probably get eight in. That's awesome. Time to charge is four hours. And the motor life is 500 hours, which is um, pretty standard. So 500 doesn't seem like a lot, but it's that's a lot of pumping. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's all we care about. Noise, it says less than 50 decibels, which puts it right in the mid range. I just did a video recently on the quietest breast pump and 50 was about mid range on those in that list. So if you go watch that video and you're like, where does this one fall? I bet if it's at 50, right in the middle. Okay. Let's check this out. So I'm gonna just show you some of the settings and then I'm gonna actually put together one of the little liquid, uh, what's it called? Liquid shield system that it came with and I'll put it on and turn it on so you can hear what it sounds like when it's actually pumping. So another cool thing I liked about this pump is you can set up your own programs via the app. 
So you don't have to use the app though if you don't want to. So if an app scares you, it's all here, you can do it. But you can also set up like your favorite programs on the app and it, it syncs here, or you can see the little Bluetooth symbol. So that's cool. Um, it can sync here with your program. So if you find that you like to change settings a lot or you just you find the thing that works for you, I like the let down mode, three section level and this many cycles per minute. And then after two minutes, I want it to switch to the expression mode for six minutes on this vacuum speed. And then I want to switch it up again, whatever. Set the program, it's right in here. It will just do it. So that's really cool. If that freaks you out, but you still want some kind of guide, I just programmed several programs and I can actually share them with you. So I will try and put those in a comment here on the video. Um, but I'll just share those programs. And then if you, I did a power pumping program, which was cool. So it was like a 50 minute long program and I programmed pauses in there too. So it was like a little letdown and then an expression and then a 10 minute pause. And then I varied up the cycle speeds on those um, pumping sessions too. It did three pumping sessions two 10 minute breaks in between. So it ended up being 50 minutes. So if you want a power pumping session, you can schedule that. It was really cool. Um, I also put just like a regular one on there and then one that kind of switched up the speeds a little bit to kind of get you different. I kind of like that sometimes just switching it because after three or four minutes, you know, kind of get used to it. And if I switch the cycle speed, not the vacuum, not the suction level, but the speed at which it's sucking, sometimes I can get a little bit more milk or even a second letdown, which is third letdown, which is cool. Okay. Sorry. I also got a haircut today and they always do it weird. They don't know how I like it anyway. I digress. Okay, here we go. So if you don't use the pumping or the um, programmable settings, it's going to start um, back on like zeros, just so you know, which is good. You don't want it to start on like level 10. But it can be a little bit annoying just to like, oops, here's this vacuum. It can be a little bit annoying to have to re-find your settings every time, but super doable. So this is stimulation mode, that first one, or letdown mode, if you want to call it that. Again, you can, okay, so let's just do it. This is the max section. Sorry if it's backwards. And then this is cycle speed 75. So this is, a, it's a, it's faster than you would use in the expression, but it's like the, the lower end of the stimulation mode. You, then you can bump it all the way up to 104. Can you hear how that is faster? You're getting more sucks per minute. And that is similar to what a baby does at the beginning of a breastfeeding session, is they suck. Here's a low section. That's a really short burst. Um, not a lot of power there, which is great. Mix it up, figure out what you want. I would probably pump on the highest or near the highest. That's just my opinion. Okay, once you get a letdown, you can switch the modes to expression. Mm, it kept the same vacuum level. Okay, it kept the same vacuum level, so that's interesting. I mean, you can obviously move it. This one goes all the way up to a Oh, heavens, 16. The higher the level, it doesn't always mean that it has more suction. Um, sometimes it does, like this one has a lot of suction is what the manual says and I'll, I'll test that out. But um, it also means that it has finer adjustments. So with 16 levels, which is the most I've ever seen on any pump, um, means that it has the most adjusting. So the difference between five and six is is less, which means you can find that some more fine-tuned level where you want to be. Okay, the lowest cycle speed, which again is the sucks per minute, is 40, which is really slow. Some people like that long, slow. The suction pattern on this is not very long, which is fine. Okay, it goes up in really tiny increments. If that's backwards for you, you're like, what? Up to 70. Again, a very normal expression. 
Okay, cool. Um, this P down here and this OK is for setting the programs. So that's cool. I actually, um, if you click the power button just real quick, it will pause it for you. So you can see it's paused and then you can restart if you want. Super cool. Um, okay, so if you turn it back on, like I said before, it's going to start. It does not remember where you left off. It's going to start back on the end. I mean, at the beginning, which honestly I like because I do not like it when I turn on a pump and it's on the settings I ended on because I'm I'm less sensitive at the end of a pumping session, so sometimes I can turn it up, and I don't want to start there. So I, I do like that feature. Cool. It was super easy to pair with the app. So I downloaded the app, and it was so easy, so easy to pair. And then the app was really user-friendly too. You can also control the pump from the app if you want to. So while you're pumping at your desk, if you're on your phone on Instagram, you're like, oh, I need to change that, and you don't want to reach down and do it, Woo. change on your app. Um, also has a rechargeable battery. Obviously, I was using that not plugged in. We talked about that battery life. Okay, the shield kit, really quick, I'll run you through it just briefly, and then I'll plug it in and pump with it so you can see what it sounds like. Um, it's a closed system, so it's got a backflow protector on there. We've got the little cap here. The interesting thing about this system is the this. So this is a insert and this has to be used with this. Um, you can see that's huge. That's not, um, that wouldn't work. But also the duck bill is connected to it. So this is a specific piece that needs to be used with this system. Goes in just like that, very easy. But I've heard really good things about this because, well, let me show you. You can see that the inside that is not touching, oops, okay, is not touching the tubing. So you have a lot of like wiggle room and give there, which is nice. A lot of moms are saying that they love the feel of that. Okay, so then you've got the little duckbill valve that was part of the inner piece. Put the bottle on, voila. Now, this um, pump and this stuff is compatible with a ton of other pumps. This company has, has done a dynamite job. I'm very, very impressed. They also sent an adapter so that I, if you want to use like a, a narrow mouth bottle like the Medela, you can with that adapter. This bottle says it holds four ounces. You could probably get five in there. Um, but it's small. Again, I don't really care, but the tubing is pretty standard. So it's got this little piece, but it comes off and then it's just like your regular tubing. So again, you can use this pump with your favorite phalange system if you want, as long as it's closed and that will be no problem. So double or single pumping. I'm going to leave one closed and do just single here. As always, make sure you close the one side if you're single pumping. Oh, I'm gonna turn the light on because that's cute. <laughs> um, yeah, what else? Oh, nursing shirt today is from Latched Mama. I have been loving their clothes. So thank you to Latched Mama for making awesome stuff. Okay, I am using a 21 millimeter. Can I do this without being nasty? Okay, yeah. I'm using a 21 millimeter size. Um, we will talk about sizing for these on a different video because I don't want this to be too long. Woo, here we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring you down here so you can follow along <laughs> while I change it. Okay. No, I can't because you're on my phone. Okay. Okay, so it started on the letdown mode, which is awesome. I'm going to bump up the cycle speeds to 104 because I like the stimulation mode a little bit faster. Also, vacuum level one is a little light, so... 
three is okay. Okay, that is super comfortable. Um, yeah, so that um, plastic piece in there is like coming in and out. It is really, really cool. Okay, I when I go through this liquid shield system, I will get a balloon and show you what this is doing. It is super comfortable, and I've never seen a phalange work like this before. Um, this company is awesome. By the way, there's a link in my description. I am an affiliate for them. I sign up for to be affiliates for all the pumps I review. I don't really care which one you buy, um, but that's just how my business kind of works. This one is freaking cool though. If you're watching this in the next few days, they are doing 20% off for Mother's Day and that code is in um, my bio link as well. So don't quite have a letdown yet because I'm distracted, but I'm gonna switch it over to expression anyway. Okay, and that level stayed at five, the suction level, which is where I'm currently at. I am going to just oh, pop it up a little bit. Now it's on 11, <laughs> it's a bit strong. So there's a letdown for me. Um, the cycle speed is 54. Let's go down to the bottom and see what that's like. It's a little low. I prefer just like a really mid-range cycle speed. The slow ones, they work with that. I just find I respond better to a little bit faster. But the cool thing about this is that you can do whatever you want. So that's awesome. Go all the way up, let's go to 70 cycle speed. So again, the cycle speed, if that's confusing to you, is not adjusting the suction level at all. It's just adjusting how many cycles per minute are sucking. Does that make sense? So here, listen to this. This is 60 cycles per minute. That's one cycle every second. Does that make sense? Again, you can't really do this wrong. You could also stay in stimulation mode the whole time. So if you wanted really high cycles, um, the vacuum level doesn't go as much. You don't have a much adjustment on that one, which is very, very common. But if you find that you respond better to a higher suction or higher cycle speed, excuse me, go for it. There's really no wrong way to do this. Figure out what works best for your body and go, and I don't care, do whatever you want. Okay, this is interesting. This is my last thing, and then this long video is over. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, yeah, you can't see it, because there's nothing in it, but I will... I'll figure out how to show you that. Okay, so I just figured out that the vacuum level does go up to 16, so that's right here. But if you, that's only on the lower cycle speeds. So watch this, this is level 16. If I increase the cycle speeds, that's as far as I can go until I turn down this suction. Interesting. So if you wanna go all the way up to, what's the max, 70. The max vacuum section is 11. And to be honest, that's probably because of just the motor. It's very common for when the motor has stronger suction that the cycle speeds decrease. But the fact that you can still get up to 11, whatever that is on this pump, is pretty cool. So anyway, sorry this is a 20 minute video, but so far, Super Genie is awesome. Actually, probably one of my favorite pumps that I've used in a while. So I'll get a full review for you out on YouTube. There's a link in my bio if you wanna check it out. I'll put the coupon code there too for you as well. Even after Mother's Day, I still have a code um, for you there. So anyway, if you have questions, post them below. I'm gonna pop over and do the tiny one to the Genie Advance now.